Hi there, welcome back to my math channel MathWell. In this video, I will answer you question number 5 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 11 01. Figure 2 shows the plain view of uh, garden. The shape of the garden ABCDEA consists of a triangle ABE and a right triangle BCD joined to a sector BDE of a circle with radius 6 cm and center B. The point A, B, C lie on a straight line with AB equals to 10.8 meters. Angle BCD equals to pi over 2 radian. Angle EBD equals to 1.3 radians and uh, A equals to 12.2 meters. Find the area of uh, sector BDE, giving your answer in square meters. You need to find the area of the sector. Area of the sector formula is 1 over 2 r square theta. By using this area formula, we could find the area of sector BDE. Everything is there, radius is given, angle is there. If you want to find the area of uh, area of the sector ABD or BDE, we can use the same formula. For first part, by using area of sector equals to 1 over 2 r square theta, we can find area of sector BDE. 1 over 2 r is this is the radius 6 is the radius and angle given is 1.3 okay this is a sector actually this one is the sector this one okay uh, this one a b d this is the sector and radius is given angle is there just plug in the values you will get the answer 6 square into 1.3 answer of this one is 23.4 square meters so first part is done for question number 5. Find the size of the angle ABE giving your answer in radians to two decimal places. We need to find this angle ABE. We can apply law of cosine to find this angle. Uh, to find this angle, angle ABE, there is a formula cosine angle ABE. Okay, uh, We always take square of the adjacent sides square of adjacent sides okay 10.8 whole square plus square of 6 these are two adjacent sides the sides that containing this angle okay and we subtract the square of the opposite side okay square of the opposite sides 12.2 whole square divide by 2 times these two adjacent sides okay 2 times 10.8 into 6 hopefully you understand how to apply it okay if you want to find this angle actually there is this is the formula very famous you have to memorize like if you want to find cosine angle a uh, we use the square of the other two sides b square plus c square minus the opposite square okay divide by two times the adjacent side the product of the adjacent side this is the formula actually okay according to this formula we can figure out the values value for this angle angle a b e now solve by using calculator you get the answer for this one let's see this is the second part cosine angle a b e will be equals to use calculator to solve this one answer of the right hand side is 19 over 2 648 okay then you take inverse of this one angle a b e will be equals to cosine inverse of this answer cosine inverse of this answer 19 over 648 finally our answer will be make sure your calculator should be in radian mode we should write our answer to two decimal places okay so our answer is 1.54 1.54 so this is the answer for second part second part of this question hopefully you understand it how to get it and you should know how to apply the formula for such type of question you should memorize the law of cosines okay let's go to the next part now for the last part find the area of the garden giving your answer in meter square to three significant figures let me go back to the question here uh, this is the garden actually the, the total figure is the garden and we already found the area of this sector this is already found that is equals to 23.4 okay now you need to find the area of these two triangles uh, area of triangle formula let me write that formula for you guys you have to memorize all these formulas to find the area of triangle we have one formula that is 1 over 2 times a b sin theta 
A and AB are the adjacent sides um, that containing this angle theta. We already found this angle by the way that is 1.54. Okay, so to find the area of this triangle, we will use these two sides because 10.8 uh, meter side and 6 meter side is containing this angle. Okay, you can apply this these two values here and this angle you will find easily you could find the area of this triangle. Now to find the area of this right triangle, this one. Okay, uh, we should have any two sides and one angle. This angle could be found easily. We know that the total angle uh, of this line, straight line, uh, this one is the pi because uh, we are measuring the angles in in radians. This angle is pi. You know. Okay, these two angles are given here: 1.3 and uh, 1.54. To find this angle, you just subtract these two angles from pi. If you subtract uh, pi minus uh, 1.54 minus 1.3 get your answer or you can keep the same like pi minus solve these two you get the answer as uh, minus 2.84 so keep the same angle this one this angle this angle is pi minus 2.84 and also you need to find this side bc okay because one side is given you need to find this angle this side according to if you want to apply the same formula here Okay, you just uh, you need to find this side BC. Now to find side BC, you should use here cosine pi minus 2.84 will be equals to you know BC over 6. Okay, now BC will be equals to you just multiply 6 times cosine pi minus 2.84. Make sure your calculator should be in radian mode. 6 cosine pi minus 2.84 will give you the answer as 5.73 5.73 okay so BC is 5.73 now you have two sides given for this one this is 5.73 BC and angle is given so we can apply the same formula uh, for these two triangles to find the total area let me figure out write these all this stuff over here for last part c total area of the triangle will be equals to area of triangle a b e plus area of triangle d b c or b c d plus area of sector okay area of sector for this triangle we will use the same formula 1 over 2 a b sin theta 1 over 2 a b a is 10.8 and b is 6 and uh, theta for this triangle is 1.54 okay plus area of the other triangle BCD now these two sides are given one is 5.73 other is 6 and angle between them is given as well so 1 over 2 times 6 times BC is 5.73 sine pi minus 2.84 okay plus area of the sector that is 23.4 if you write as is in your calculator as is in your calculator you get the answer as 60.8907774 but you have to round your answer to three significant figures so our answer will be we can round it up to three significant figures answer will be 60.9 only okay so this is the required area for the garden 60.9 square meters to three significant figures three significant figures hopefully you understand this part as well if you have any doubt or any question please write in the comment box thank you